Hello and welcome. This has become sort of my testing map, really. When we, yeah, this is a bit of testing I did to see if we could automate um, feeding and cows and all the rest of it. And this really was the sort of best I could sort of come up with. It looks a little bit odd, but it sort of is sort of the best that you could cobble together to make it as automated as you possibly could. And it did actually, in the end, work out quite well, really. Much better than you think. And, and although it's odd, obviously in real life such things do exist, but they probably have the modern ways to hide things. So that would have like shielding around it, and you'd never know because it'd be part of the barn. Obviously, we've left this all ad hoc where everything's part of it, and cylinders similar to that again aren't really that odd to see. So, yeah, it's a bit of a stranger. But we're not here for that. We're here to test properly the cereal factory by giant software because i have long said I, i've yeah been doing quite a bit of a, a thing and of showing bad productions that have got bad cycles and all the rest of it so i wanted to sort of home in on this because i've i've not had it in for i really haven't i uh, yeah i actually had it on a let's play and it was weird subconsciously and it was terrible and that's no, no, not but we don't be mode. No, stick it in normally. That's as flat as a pancake. That's another reason I like this is the test map. Uh, we don't want it near any other productions because it's. I mean, it's a giant software one, so you'd think it'd be all right. But what I mean is, I don't want anything to play around with this at all. So we put that down. We can add as much money as we like because we're only testing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of. This is the first time I've actually done this. I'm going to flip take some screenshots and then I'm going to work in OneNote to sort of show and to, to highlight and use calculations and I'll just do a voiceover over that particular section but to begin with I thought we'd come in here and we would have a look at the cycles in this and sort of explain a little bit on also the other thing some of the Giants ones don't actually do the cycles properly on Zilonka. I work this out really. So if we click on the serial, it takes now what economy. I think we're a normal. I think I chose a normal economy, but it doesn't really matter. It, as in, it, this would work for whatever economy because your prices change, as we all know, if in the different economies. So your productions are based upon that. So this is gaming two the all important thing that you've got to work out is how many cycles per month and this is one of the poorest ones in the game it does basically 2160 times two but that's the finished product you're wasting right two for the six so th this is actually fairly standard of giants you're actually gaining only one third of the inputs to gain now let's have a look a focus on the price of the cereal itself what am i gaining four tons of if we just grain it down so it's for simplicity because it's always easy the brain it works much better if you just forget about the 160 just call this two times two thousand it's four thousand four thousand liters is what you would gain from this so if you look at your cereal what are you gaining for the finished product? And I, I'm, everything I'm going to do is based upon best prices. If I was going to sell the corn, if I was going to sell the honey, all of it. So that's fair across the board. Because we're also only interested in the best possible price for cereal. So everything's best possible price. So we're ignoring the, the low end. We would only sell this at the best possible price in March or April or any other if there's a high that goes to that or above. So we gain 4732 for that four tons which is a considerable amount of cash until you start to focus upon the inputs themselves and how much it's costing you in comparison with that so that would be sixteen thousand odd that you would earn in a month for selling that at the very best so obviously you'd do that 12 months of the year to gain a, a quite a lot of cash but how much would you get if you sold that component of that, which is 1,000 litres? If we go, if we just forget about what I've just said about the months, let's just boil this down to one month, one set of cycles. So how much is 1,000 litres of honey worth? It's worth 1,990, again, at its best price. 
versus 4732. Now, now it's beginning to look a little bit different. Now, that's nearly half of that for one input. Now we go to this, which is again one. Raisins, again, are actually not a cheap component. So if we look at that, how much do we get for raisins? 2827. Actually, for those two components, you've pretty much equaled. Actually, this is worse than I thought it was. You have, actually, it's true. You've pretty much equaled your, if you add those two together, you've got almost your four eights that you're getting for your cereal. In fact, you've actually eclipsed it now. So your honey and your raisins are worth more than cereal. And we've not finished yet. You've got two oats. Now, oats is mediocre. It's not the best, but neither is it the worst. On normal economy, it's worth quite a lot. So, oats. For 1,000 litres of oats, what am I getting? 1,303, again, top price. We all know if everything went low, but it's exactly the same equation. It's exactly the same maths, whether you go high or low, because... The only way you'd make this is if you were going to be a terrible farmer and you were going to sell all of your products low and you were possibly going to make it to sell high, but that's bad business. So we're not even going to go for anybody who's going to argue on such um, silliness, really. So oats, 1303. We've already seen, we've actually already equaled the cereal with what? So we're now making a loss. 1303 for that. And that's two. So that's 2006. Corn is not the best, but nevertheless, it's not silly. So let's have a look at the corn. Would be 910 at its best. So actually, that's 1800. So actually, already, we've severely lost cash on this. That has got to be the worst business in the world. But we, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to like do this now on I'm going to do the mathematics. I'm going to literally screenshot this and we're going to move over to OneNote where I'm going to literally yeah, do some. So I'm going to see you shortly. Right. Just to reinforce that fact, I'd like to literally sort of shift us over to this. And I've never done this before. I've got a, like a, um, yeah, this is a pen, literally, and we're on red. So if we go to, yeah, so. 2160 is the cycles with which still I don't know that we really need to do this I really think we've sort of covered this the only thing that is useful I would say is if we go to write this down that that might be useful so it is to just to reinforce and bring this home so it's 2160 which if we're gonna to go to specifics now, let's let's name and shame. Let's do this properly. Yeah, so we've got I've got giants on in the background. So it's two one six oh times two. Yeah, the other thing is that Zilonka was the one that really brought it home that things were not really completely right with in the giants world, as in like cycles are not equal with all mods. Now the Omatanas, now they those cycles you can take to the bank. Giants ones, not so much. Oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, I've got to get used to this. It's um, it's a bit more tricky because this is a normal Windows sort of PC. And I've got a, a drawing tablet, which is, uh, yeah, it's not so... I mean, I've got, I have got a Surface Pro a long time ago. But I thought, for this, I don't need it really. Not, not for this. So 4,320 is the magic number. That's what we're going to get. And for that, we're going to home in on exactly one month. So we need to sort of flip between the windows, really. And go back to the cycles to sort of do this. So it's 2,120, because what we really need is this. So we've seen, and if we focus upon the serial, our best price is 4732. We go back to that. It is 4732 is the top price. No, nope, don't want that at all. I want to, you can sort of draw this a little bit above. So 4732 on normal economy. 
apologies for that. My wife didn't know I was recording. Not that she'd she'd still do it anyway, and it's pointless. Having <laughs> a word, it really is. Right, so four seven three two is the top price. Why have you gone from that? From yeah, well, you were on pen, so why have you like suddenly changed? Yeah, that's right. I should know that. Four seven three two then being the top price per thousand liters. We're going to concentrate on a thousand liters for everything. Okay, so that's finished crop. That's cereal. That's top price. So now it, it, it is. It's all. It is like breaking this down into sort of fragments. So to produce that, you have one honey. So if we write this down, apologize for this. It's not very easy to do. It's not like writing normally. Honey, and it's a bit thick as well, but never mind. It's honey, raisins. And we have oats. So each of these has a cost to you, the farmer, of what you could take it to market. I'm just trying to break this down because people will argue with this. And it is one of those things because it's giant software that did this. So therefore you're gonna, yeah, it's, it's, it's bound to be that it's productive. It was, yeah, it was, when I was doing this and I was thinking, this is not making any sense. This is not actually making any sense at all. So if we go back to the game now, and we go to, which is just above top price is one nine nine zero and we're going to do this obviously this is for like per thousand liters so one nine nine zero and i'm being fair because they're all at the top price we're not like being unfair where we're trying to make this work by by trying to shame giants and things like that so honey one nine 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 oh and we want uh, close to oats. We may as well do the oats now. Remember, this is doubled though, so this is one three o three times two. Gotta keep. Gotta yeah. Let's just rub that out. It's a bit annoying. Go back to the pen. So oats is. 1,303 times 2. Terrible writing. Raisins are also not terribly far away. They're all very close to each other, really. The raisins are 282. So that's what I say, really. You don't really need to look for the more, any more than the first two components so I've forgotten it already that's the type of memory I've got 2827 so I might just concentrate uh, undo that apologize for the mechanics but it is this this I cannot be helped 2827 and the corn, again, which is not too far away, is 910 at its best price. Corn, 910. Again, times two. Yeah, so two lots of corn. Two lots of oats, one lot of raisins, one lot of honey. So if we now do the maths on that, bring up the calculator. We gain 4732 for one ton, which is produced by all of this. So then, if we now get rid of that and we add, then let's double everything up first. So it's 1303 times 2. 2606 plus 1820 for the two corn 
plus one of raisins, two, eight, two, seven, plus one set of the honey, equals a grand total of 9,243 euros, pounds, or dollars that you would earn if you sold. So it's actually far worse than I thought. When I did the rudimentary mathematics on one of my Let's Plays, I really did... I thought we were breaking even, but this is one of the much, much worse. I'm trying to think, am I missing something here? Is there a... Yeah, as in, like, am I missing a component? And I'm really thinking, not really. At its most basic, what you're doing is to produce two cereal. It's got... They're the ingredients to produce that. And the actual cost, if you sold those without doing the cereal factory is that's the grand total you would be earning 9243 if you sold all four of those components at exactly as they are because you're selling 2000 liters of oats 2000 liters of corn 1000 liters of raisins and 1000 liters of oats to produce 2000 liters so the one thing i have just noticed in my mathematics is if that is true, it is producing two times four, seven, three, two. So let's just write down the total. If you were selling the individual components, is nine, two, four, three. Four, three. But that produces two cereals. So that's, let's be fair with this. Yeah, I didn't, I thought I was missing something because I've done this before and you nearly break even. It's not a so terrible um, that it, I mean, obviously, for a company that does mathematics for a living, that the eight zeros and ones, but it is a bit different. Are they not all this bad? Cereal, um, cereal is the worst I've ever found. So cakes are not much better when you actually work through that, which is why you very rarely see me ever buy a giant thing. But I will buy the sugar and I will buy the uh, the oil, although I do prefer to buy to use a farmer jab or Omatana because they are. More realistic recipes. But anyway, let's continue with this. Let's be uh, fair. 4732. 32 times 2 is 9464. So, actually, I was right in the first place. I did actually sort of say this. You were sort of making a little bit. So, I am right. If you sold the individual components at their best possible price, you would get 9,243. Now, for you buying that expensive thing, which is also going to do production costs, I draw your attention to this uh, item here. Yeah, 120, 240 per month it's going to cost you to produce that. So you've really got to sort of include that. So your costs are... And again, we're going to do it for one month. So to produce your two lots, it is 240. <laughs> we're going to pretty much break even as I... It's, it is amazing when you actually work this out. So take 240 for production costs. Means we actually make 9,224 for, yeah, for the actual proper cereal versus... Selling nine two four three if we just sold this, but I'm not sure if it, if for owning that nice shiny big building, not only do you need to find space for it and probably a field or a production slab which just cost you cash, but also I'm, I'm sure you get like your farmyard costs where you get those costs. I don't know, I don't know where that is. I don't know where I can find that out. But if if this is the full picture. That is it. That is finally I can rest my weary head knowing that my me spouting off for all of these months has actually scientifically and mathematically categorically proved that this is an absolute lemon where you are going to lose money. Not very much, but you're definitely going to lose money if you go for the cereal factory. The ball is in your court's giant software. To, if I'm missing something, then I really would like you to uh, point it out what I've got wrong. Because uh, as far as I'm aware, if I was to use the Omatana, I, I, the only reason I say this is a long time ago, I did on Silver Run, spat off my mouth to giants. And actually, I had the egg on face and it was to I was totally wrong. So 
I've sort of short for a long time, even though I sort of knew that I was right about this, but maths doesn't lie and neither does um, the game itself with the prices. So, and nor does, I've not missed anything this time. I've literally done everything because you can, you can take this and you can multiply it by 12 or whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. That is the basic premise. And the basic thing is you definitely lose software. Lose software. I'm thinking giant software. You definitely lose profits. Yeah, just. Yeah, you, you're losing 20 odd, which is a, a drop in the ocean. But then that's, as I said, you've got the, the building costs, which I'm not sure if they do or they don't. I can't answer that question. I can't see the mechanics of the game quite to that extent. The only person or company that could uh, do that and look inside the game and see the the, the variables that they've set all of these the recipes to would be giant software themselves. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want this to be a monster, but I'm very, very glad that finally I have proved that I was not speaking nonsense. Yeah, the, the cake one is very similar, but I'm, that, we might actually have another look at that if anybody's interested in taking a look at this. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and I truly do hope you're going to join me on other videos. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.